Do you want to be able to make custom skaters on Skate 3? Well, you came to the right video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to download the correct version of Xenia and how to make custom skaters. All links shown in this video will be in the description or in the EA Skate Modding Discord, which is also in the description. Step one, how to download Xenia. Go to the description and click the first link labeled Xenia download. I have all the links in a notepad in the video, but the links will be in the same order as in the description. Click download as zip in the top right corner and save it to your downloads. This will be the correct version of Xenia you will need to make custom skaters. You will also need the Skate 3 ISO. To get this, Join the EA Skate Modding Discord server linked below the Xenia download in the description. Once in the server, head to the downloads channel. Click the first link labeled all download links. Find the section Xenia games and click the link labeled all Xenia skate games and right click on the skate three ISO and click download. Next, unzip Xenia. You can do this by getting WinRAR or 7-zip linked in the description and drag it to your desktop. When the skate ISO is done downloading, I would recommend putting it somewhere you can remember where it is. I just created a new folder called skate three and put it in the Xenia folder. Double click on the Xenia.exe, then click the file button button in the top left corner. Click open and locate the Skate 3 ISO you downloaded. When you locate it, just double click it to start Skate 3. You can close it for now though. Congratulations, you have Skate 3 and the correct version of Xenia to make skaters officially installed. How to make skaters? Head to the EA Skate Modding Discord server. Go to the downloads channel, click the first link labeled all download links. Find the section Xenia Skate 3 menus and click the link labeled Skate 3 Xenia Save Editor. Then click the little arrow in the top right corner to download it. When it's finished downloading, you will have to extract it. I would put this somewhere you can find it easily. I created a folder named Cheats and put it in the Xenia folder. Okay, let's start up Xenia. When Skate 3 is fully started, you can then open the Skate 3 Xenia Save Editor. The tool will automatically connect to Skate 3. Press Start, click Edit Skaters, and then Edit Skater. Now you can use all the features in the tool to make skaters. This tool has almost everything from stretching logos without a black box, to changing the way your face looks. If you want an in-depth tutorial on how to use the tool, go to the description and watch the video named How to Make a Custom Skater in 2022. That video will show you how to use the tool on an RGH. So I recommend skipping to me using the tool since you already have the tool connected to Skate 3. Now I will show you how to spoof because one thing this tool doesn't have that the one in the video has is the ability to pull graphics. The reason for this is because Xenia can't connect to EA Nation like the Xbox 360 can. So to spoof, you will need Cheat Engine. Go in the description and find the link called, well, Cheat Engine. Click the big green button that says download Cheat Engine. Finish the Cheat Engine setup. Once done, go into the description and click on the link named Cheat Table for Skate 3 and download it. Shout out to JDog for putting together this Cheat Table. When it's downloaded, I would recommend putting it somewhere you would know where it is. I just created a folder named Cheats and put all the Skate 3 modding stuff in there. Now double click on the Cheat Engine underscore Skate 3 dot CT. It will ask, do you allow this to make Cheat changes to your device click yes when it's open click the edit button in the top left corner and click settings this will open the cheat engine settings box i'm going to slowly scroll through the general tab make sure you have exactly the boxes i have checked next go to the extra custom types tab and select four byte big indian and float big indian these are very important so make sure you check these go to the scan settings tab and check all the boxes i have checked same with debugger options and last with lua okay the settings for chi engine are done you can close that for now so if you guys want to see the graphics on the skater there are more things to download head to the description and click on the link name gh fear method this will bring you to a video 
go to the description and click the links named tools and hxd and download both of them when you have those you're almost ready to spoof graphics all you need now is a game save with graphics so you can put new ones over them so head to the description and go to this website named og network there are tons of game saves with graphics you can choose any just to make sure that it's for xbox and not ps3 when you have your game save open up the xenia.exe click the file button in the top left corner click show content directory and follow where i go replace the rmc del and skater.p with the ones you just downloaded from that website okay let's get to spoofing some logos in the folder you just put the skater.p and rmc del right click on the skater.p and click copy head to the gh fear tool folder you downloaded and go into the skate 3 save file texture exporter paste the skater.p in here double click on the extract.bat press enter and a folder named my save underscore skater should pop up now go to the ea rx2 texture tool and double click on the skate 3 texture tool.exe when the tool is open head back to the my save underscore skater folder in that folder you will see four files they should all be rx2 files drag one of the files into the rx2 tool and click convert to xpr and tga if you go back to the folder with the skate 3 texture tool.exe there should be a tga folder open it and it should have a graphic inside if it does you have done it correctly if you want to change all the logos then you can do the same thing with the other three rx2 files as shown here now open a tga folder and it should be a graphic if you want to be able to see it as i do you have to get paint.net in the microsoft store unfortunately it costs money but it's up to you if it's worth it you will need something to open the first tga file you can do this with paint.net if you get it or if you have photoshop that will work as well double click the first tga file and it will open the graphic in the program you chose now you need a real in-game graphic so go to the description and join this discord named og network the same name as the website we used earlier go to the modding stuff channel click on html files with tons of graphics download as many as you want when you open one there will be tons of graphics to choose from when you find a logo you would like to use right click on it and save image as to your desktop Now drag the logo on top of the old logo open in your picture editor. And save that to the TGA folder you opened it in. Open the skate3textureTool.exe and drag the first .tga into the drop tga here box and click repack xpr slash rx2. This will create a repack folder. Open this folder. There will be two files, one named underscore modded.rx2, the other being skate3.xpr. You will only need the underscore modded one. Open the hxd program that you downloaded from the description of ghfears video. Drag the underscore modded rx2 file into hxd. On the left side, there will be a whole bunch of numbers and letters in blue. Look for the 00000220 and look for EB0008 and copy from EB to the bottom of the page. To make this faster, highlight EB0008, then scroll to the bottom of the page and hold the left shift and left click on the last zero. Now control C. Now on skate 3, open the cheat table you downloaded from the description. 
Go to the top left corner and click the button that looks like a magnifying glass and find Xenia. Once it's connected, go through the list and find the logos one, two, three, four. And in Skate 3, go to your skateboard or anything you can put a graphic on and see what box the graphic you replace was in. When you find the one it was in, right click and click browse this memory region. Find EB0008 and double click on EB. This will pop up a box and in the little box that says one byte, change it to array of byte and then control V in the top box. Cheat engine will freeze for a couple of seconds then all the numbers will flash red. Now go to something you can put a graphic on such as the board and select the box you replace. As you can see the logo I put on is in the game. Now you can customize it how you would like but it's not officially in the game. We just did that so you can see the logo. So if you were to put this game save onto your Xbox others wouldn't be able to see the graphic. Now we have to make it so others can see it. Go to the logo that you want and right click on it and click open in a new tab. Copy from slash skate three to the end of the link. Scroll to the top on the cheat engine list and in skate three, go to what you want the logo on, such as the board, at, shirt, etc. I chose the board for this example. Click on one of the number boxes and click the spade. Keep clicking back and forth until you see a number change in one of the top offsets in Chi Engine. Right click on the one that's changing and click browse this memory region. Look on the right side and you will see a link similar to the one you copied for the logo. Scroll up a little and switch from the spade to the box logos and see which one is changing. When you find the link, click on a box. Select the logo. In Chi Engine, click on the slash and highlight to the end of RX2 and click control paste to paste the link you copy. You will see .png and .rx2 or just png. Just copy what I do. Replace png with rx2 and on the numbers on the left type 0 over and over until rx2 is gone on the right. There you go. You officially spoofed. You can back out of Edit Skater to save. If the logo is gone, that means you have done it correctly. If you are done making your skater and want the skater on your Xbox One or Xbox 360, open Xenia, click the File button in the top left corner, click Show Content Directory, follow where I go. You will see a RMC DEL and skater.p file. Copy both and put them onto your desktop. Now go to this video in the description named Horizon Tutorial. This video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to put skaters onto your Xbox from your PC. If you need any help, join my Discord in the description labeled My Discord. You can either DM me or at me in general chat saying what you need help with. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this tutorial helped you. A like would be much appreciated if it did help. See you in the next one. Thank you